What's up, fight fans? I'm Flying Brian J for MMAmania.com. We're here to talk about the main event of the Ultimate Fighter Season 24 finale, where Demetrius Mighty Mouse Johnson will put his flyweight title on the line against Tim Elliott. This fight will, without a doubt, at least set one record, and that is this is the first time in UFC history where a fighter was cast away by the organization, and when they returned, they went straight into a title fight. Now, Tim Elliott was able to make this happen by first he went on a three-fight losing streak in the Ultimate Fighting Championships, then he went outside of the organization, he claimed a belt, he defended that belt, and then he went on the Ultimate Fighter, won four fights there, and now here we are. He has a chance to claim UFC gold against Demetrius Johnson this coming Saturday. I'm just going to talk about each guy stylistically and I'll give you my pick toward the end of the video. So starting with Demetrius Mighty Mouse Johnson. This man is dynamic. He is nimble. He's explosive and he throws his weapons with a quickness that is un- matched and his grappling prowess is second to none and he transitions from his striking to his grappling absolutely seamlessly. He has impeccable balance and body control. He might not be the most powerful man but his timing accompanied with that quickness and his accuracy all three of those factors make him a really dangerous person to trade strikes with. And also, in the past, he showed an unrelenting desire to finish fights. Just look at his late finish of Kyoji Oroguchi. And he has shown that he can withstand a little bit of adversity in order to get the better of his opponent and then get the victory. So he's tough as well. But I think what makes him the best fighter in the world, it's that he is still evolving and upping his game every time he steps into the octagon. He shows us a new wrinkle and he shows us that his game has improved. The guy is always learning and he's always progressing. Tim Elliott, now a lot of people are going to be drawing comparisons between his herky jerkiness and Keith Jardine. I think that's false. I would more compare him with a smooth awkwardness to a guy like Tony El Kukui Ferguson. And similarly to El Kukui, how they both stand in an orthodox stance ordinarily, but they will switch to southpaw, and sometimes they will stand straight on at you. And Tim Elliott's best area of his game is on the ground. He's a former state champion wrestler in Kansas, and he wrestled in college as well. So his ground skills are pretty darn good. He's really opportunistic with chokes if his opponent sticks their neck out there, whether it be he grabs a bulldog choke, a guillotine choke, a dars choke, a rear naked choke. He sees a neck. He's going to take that thing to the bank and on his way to victory. And he too transitions very seamlessly from his striking to his grappling. Perhaps he will throw a front kick to a spinning back fist and then straight into a takedown attempt. This guy, you never know what's going to be coming next. Dana White on this season of The Ultimate Fighter described him as he doesn't give a fuck. This guy, he has a really, really reckless style. And I think that right there is one reason why he's going to lose this fight. He put himself in quite a few bad predicaments in his last three fights with the UFC prior to now. And he also put himself in bad predicaments in most of his fights on The Ultimate Fighter. And if you put yourself in just one dicey position against Demetrius Johnson, he's going to make you pay dearly for it. And also, I mentioned how Demetrius Johnson is getting better and better every time he steps into the octagon. And even though... Tim Elliott has made his way back to the octagon after getting the boot and he's moved right into a title shot. I haven't seen very much from him that shows that he has really progressed and grown as a fighter. He's the same guy that was here that lost to Zach Makovsky and that fighter is not going to be able to take a guy like Demetrius Johnson who's the number one pound for pound fighter in the world and gets better and better every time. But how much would you like to see uh, Matt Serra versus George St. Pierre one type of upset here? That Cinderella story, the awe-inspiring moment like Holly Holm knocking out Ronda Rousey, that would be absolutely incredible and I would love nothing more than to see that. I'm not saying I'm not a Demetrius Johnson fan, I just want to see upsets, I want to see chaos, it could be incredible. I don't think that it happens though here. I think that early on in this fight, Tim Elliott's going to put himself in a dicey and poor predicament, and Demetrius Johnson's going to make him pay for it. Now, Tim Elliott has not been finished with strikes since 2009, so I don't think that Demetrius Johnson finishes him via KO or TKO, but I do think that when Tim puts himself in a dicey predicament early on in this fight, Demetrius Johnson is going to be opportunistic with his chokes, grab that neck, and move one step closer to breaking Anderson Silva's consecutive title defense record. With a win here, Demetrius Johnson will be at nine consecutive title defenses, and he will need just one more to tie the great 
Anderson the Spider Silva. Once again, I've got Demetrius Johnson via first round submission. Tell me who you think is going to win in the comment section down below. Do you think we see that Hail Mary, Matt Serra versus GSP moment? Or do you think that the guy who everyone expects to win comes away with another victory and solidifies himself once again as the pound for pound best fighter in the world? Please give the video a thumbs up and I'll see you on my next one. Namaste.